Success is a lousy teacher. It seduces smart people into thinking they can't lose. I'm a great believer that any tool that enhances communication has profound effects in terms of how people can learn from each other and how they can achieve the kind of freedoms that they're interested in. Headlines, in a way, are what mislead you because bad news is a headline and gradual improvement is not. Expectations are a form of first-class truth. If people believe it, it's true. Treatment without prevention is simply unsustainable. I think it's fair to say that personal computers have become the most empowering tool we've ever created. They're tools of communication, they're tools of creativity, and they can be shaped by their user. We all need people who will give us feedback. That's how we improve. Everyone needs a coach. It doesn't matter whether you're a basketball player, a tennis player, a gymnast or a bridge player. Your most unhappy customers are your greatest source of learning. I believe that if you show people the problems and you show them the solutions they will be moved to act. It's fine to celebrate success but it is more important to heed the lessons of failure. I believe in innovation and that the way you get innovation is you fund research and you learn the basic facts. Bitcoin is mostly about anonymous transactions and I don't think over time that's a good way to go. I'm a huge believer in digital currency. But doing it on an anonymous basis I think that leads to some abuses, so I'm not involved in Bitcoin. This is a fantastic time to be entering the business world because business is going to change more in the next 10 years than it has in the last 50. Like my friend Warren Buffett, I feel particularly lucky to do something every day that I love to do. He calls it tap dancing to work. The internet is the easiest thing to get into. To be an internet retailer, you just get that URL. Capitalism has shortfalls. It doesn't necessarily take care of the poor, and it underfunds innovation, so we have to offset that. China adopted a capitalist system in the 1980s, and they went from a 60% poverty rate to 10%. I am results oriented. I don't think there's anything unique about human intelligence. Really advanced civilization is based on advances in energy.